Hello and welcome back, I'm Marumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more Portugal in the Dharma patch. We're gonna keep on stockballing cash, we're gonna go to war with people wherever we can. Slumson's coming up next on the chopping block, I think. Um, I don't think I actually have any embargoes established right now on these guys. So if I have a diplomat free, I'll do it. Next month, we'll have enough we can get another claim on these guys. And we can also consider whether or not they will accept a threat in war. So I got a claim on this province. No point in claiming his capital, because if we do that, we can't demand it in a threat in war. On the other hand, just getting a claim on it seems good too, because we could just go to war with Pasai and take it from him. He's allied to Bruni and Ligor. Bruni and Ligor, okay. And the other person we can fabricate on is, again, Bruni. I have a claim on him already in Jess... Jesselton. I think I will take a claim on his capital, because I want that trade location. I mean, that is a solid 12.7 of the provinces. 10% and 6.9% all there. I think that's good enough for now. Let's switch back over to trade. Maximize profit. We did get through our military idea group, but we're behind time on military tech. So we'll stay focused on mill for a little while longer. And once these armies get where they need to be, we can go take care of the rebels and move on. We conflict with the homie. Bavaria does things. Scotland has no heir, and our subject is still disloyal. What are the new colonization mechanics? Um, main thing with colonization that's changed is that you... You can send a colonist to an existing province. We have not yet found a single time where it makes sense to do that, rather than colonizing uncolonized land. But that's the main colonization change. Beyond that are these trade company investments, which are all added in Dharma, if you have the Dharma patch, I think. The Dharma DLC. And uh, just recently we realized they all get deleted when we form Spain, but we're going to probably console our way through that problem. And then the other thing is the major changes to like trade uh, with these upgradable trade centers of trade. So it might not all be colonization related, but it does definitely affect the way that it feels to play as a colonizer. We have 27 transports right now. I'm actually tempted to go up to like 40, just so that we can drop 40,000 troops anywhere in the world, wherever we want to go. I'd also like to get my naval force summit up higher. I'm gonna do one more round of like shipyards. And then we'll save money, I swear. Alright, this army... I have a claim against Melindy, we have no truce with Melindy, and his ally won't won't uh, honor the call. And he still has uh, a thing here that I can attack. And these should all also be part of the trade company area, so I want everything possible. Every single province that can be part of the trade companies, I want trade companies. Because even a province like this with like not that great development provides me with 1.06 naval force limit. And it's another location we can build docks. So, the potential for naval force limit from trade companies is insane now that you can have trade companies at 0% autonomy. That was the same case in the last patch too, but um, a couple patches ago you could only have like 75% autonomy, which meant 75% of your force limit was lost, which meant making shipyards was not really that great. But um, yeah, I think we're going to go to war with this guy now too. But first I wanted to just check and see if anything's changed since I trained those troops. Are you willing to accept a threat? Negative, uh, negative some reasons. How about you? Negative six reasons to just give me a province. Hmm. Alright then. Roomba try breaking their lines before threatened war. It's a good idea. Uh, I wanted to get this war started, but yeah, we can try threatening. Um, I mean, threatened war is full aggressive expansion, and we have 
very little aggressive expansion over here, like none right now, seven or so. But um, the fact that I have claims on a lot of the higher development provinces, I think I might just park a nice army over here, like a 30 or 40 stack, and then just systematically take all the centers of trade right now, since for whatever reason we're having difficulty protecting trade over there. We have some manpower still. Let's um, let's just get a couple cannons here, like say four. Go with this ten stack, and then let's get more infantry. And now we have none manpower, which is a good number. Apparently he's bugging out. Doesn't want to fight me. Going into the fog of war. Alright. Speaking of fog of war, I bet our guy who's supposed to be exploring isn't exploring. Uh, of course he's not. We don't have a conquistador right now. <laughs> Shall we risk putting the nobles at 99.5% influence? Sure, why not? <laughs> it's still less than 100. What's the worst that could happen? Holy crap. It's a 2541. That's a, that's a pretty good general. Go explore. 2541. Man, I'd like to use him for actual wars and stuff. Let's put us over the leader limit. I'm okay with that. I want to keep exploring. Find more seven, seven city type stuff. Wait, you can buy provinces. Yes, that's another thing, is that we do make a fairly large amount of money. So, I, I personally don't think that the financial argument for buying provinces is going to ever make sense. But maybe, I feel like Louis CK when I say it that way. But maybe, um, maybe the thing that you get is that you you get the land without having to pay for the uh, the aggressive expansion. You know, it's just like free land, zero aggressive expansion land. That could potentially be an argument for it. Go back to this one again, and then what claims on every province in this area that has Ligor is a independent nation that is probably going to be consumed by Malacca. So let's just spy on Malacca. Let's make sure we get a claim on Siak. Buildings are complete. Is buying provinces part of Dharma? Yes, you can buy. It's it's an interaction you do called Charter Trade Company. Charter Company. Ask the company to sell a province that will become a trade company. In general, it's incredibly over overpriced and seems like it's usually not a good idea, but... Maybe that will change at some point. Got more docks. Not gonna do more charter investments just yet. Also, I am I'm probably expanding too too aggressively right now, considering that I can't even core the land that I've taken. That new guy did have a siege pip. But, but I need him to explore. I don't want to be Defender of the Faith. Nice. Converted to province, gaining lots of extra papal influence. Good subjects. Anything else we can convert? No. 48 papal influence right now. We have a 5.8% uh, chance right now of becoming the Curia Controller. Let's bump that up to about a 15% chance. There is a crusade against the Ottomans right now. And I think that we rivaled the Ottomans, so perhaps we should declare like a trade war on the Ottomans just for the morale bonuses and stuff. Make some extra manpower recovery for a while, get our prestige and stuff up, make the Pope like us. Etc, etc. Ships are ready for that trade mission now in your colony. Thank you, yes. So between episodes we were, we were considering just sending some ships to this province. And then trying to protect trade from here to see if maybe now they'll they'll not be stupid. And maybe there's just like some <laughs> Bermuda Triangle in the middle of the uh, Indian Ocean or something that's blocking them. And it looks like that might be the case because they are looking like they're doing their job properly now. Bow pirates of Tlemcen have raided the coasts of Granada and Almeria. Excuse me. We have someone private uh, doing some privateering. 40 guns are pirate hunting, 93 are privateering.
So enough enough ships are trying to do piracy type stuff that they actually decided to to click that loot button. So I only have the one heavy that's been on private privateering duty. All right, well, let's just split off um, half of these ships and have them go and hunt pirates in Sevilla as well. I want to protect the rest of the land if I can. And I also want to murder Tlemcen because he just, you know, did that. Quite rude, I think. What is the naval doctrine that I'm using right now? We have ship boarding still. Bum, bum, bum. 1,025 ducats to switch over to Merchant Navy. Would that ever pay for itself? I don't know. So Pate's the only one that I have a claim on. Pate is part of a territory I have no land in yet. We can easily walk around and, and get to where we need to be. But fabricating on this guy is a kind of a pain in the butt. I could just take everything that's part of the trade company right now for how much total... 83 Diplo points to just be done with this guy. Nine, 69 base aggressive expansion. Melindy is the, ma the guy that we're, we're beating up on here. Ajran gets 56. Marahan. It's probably too much, right? Yeah, I think it's too much. I'll just take the, uh, the estuary for now and his money. And I need prestige in order to keep placating kind of the other guy. And I do want your trade power. Let's add this to the trade company. Let's wait a month. Let's get the course started already. Let's go check and see if that guy is actually protecting. Are they protecting? What do you know? We actually have trade power from ships, believe it or not. So, that means that if we send the navy over, perhaps we can get the 50% control of this node, get that final mission for Portugal. Um, and then maybe we can decide to become Spain. Let's send all these ships over there. That's probably the whole navy. We've got 40, 36, 24, 20, 14 in Caribbean need to be there. The ones in Safi are probably reasonable. These guys are hunting pirates. Need to stay hunting. Protecting trade in Sevilla is pretty pointless. Get these guys to head over there too. What did they change for colonization of Dharma? That question comes up quite often. We should probably just like make make a command. I'm gonna just immediately upgrade some of these level one entrepots for two hundred gold. Immediately. Not, not really immediately, actually, because we've had them for a long time, but... More base trade power, please, yes. The vile pirates of Tlemcen have raided the coast of Tangier, Ceuta, Gibraltar, Sevilla, and Algarve. Seriously? Even with negative 70%, they only got 30% of the money they could have had, and they still did it. Bastards. Like, seriously. F off. Stop doing that. I'm going to murder Tlemcen. Tlemcen's going to die right now. I'm going to pick up my whole army, bring it home, we're going to murder Tlemcen. This is what we're going to do. In fact, I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to do it as soon as we have Diplomat free. It's time for him to die. You're not allowed to have boats anymore. And I do have an 18 stack here with four cannons. It's not really an ideal army, but... What rank great power are we? We are rank rank first. We actually have... Uh, we're only 11 development shy of Ming right now. After about 100 years of gameplay. And we are at 237.2. Uh, so in December of 38. About 18 months, we're going to have enough to do that. Lucrative trade. Our trade with the natives of Graf Renet has proven very profitable. 
Rafael gets merchant investment, local trade power for a while, or invest in Diplo points. Money or dip? Diplo points, definitely. Times of need. The dynasty of our noble king, Davies, is uh, certainly a powerful one. Military aid, administrative aid, manpower, prestige. We're asking our subject, Tafialult. Let's ask them for military points so we can get caught up on military tech. If they agree, agree to that. Also, um, Tunis, or, or rather Tlemcen, this is what you get. We will declare using um, Tafialult's claims. He has this, this fort. He just unmothballed it. Damn it. Oh well, it'll still be half strength. Let's come home. It's almost time to go to war with Castile again anyway. We will get permanent claims once we form Spain, so I'd like to finish this up and then become... become Spain before the next war with Castile. We're going to protect in the Malacca node with that whole fleet. That would be the galleys that he's probably pri uh, pirating with. But they're not in the uh, inland seas right now, so these galleys are not fighting very well. Also, we have a, a fairly sizable morale advantage just based on having 99.8 naval tradition. That fort over there is also mothballed. How quickly could we hire a merc? 16 days. It's just, well, 12 days. That'd be the 23rd. Do we go from here to there in a week? Probably not. Oh well. How did you get 100 naval tradition? Well, we've been protecting trade a lot. So right now we get um, 0.53 yearly naval tradition from protecting trade. We have naval enthusiasm plus one. Naval enthusiasm comes from... something. Just lasts for a few more years. I think that was uh, one of the missions in the Portuguese mission tree. I think it might have been... this, yeah. That gives us one yearly naval tradition. And then we have four coastal world ports, which gives it one yearly naval tradition. And of course, battles and stuff. Hey, professionalism, cool. He does have an army over there. 263. Alright, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll be back in the next episode. If you're watching it on Twitch, hang around, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you soon.